Hello and welcome, this is Shane from Viscount Capital. Today I'm going to run through a very basic spreadsheet which is going to show you how to calculate implied volatility. So what is implied volatility? Well, it's really just a forward-looking indicator on price variation with regards to a underlying security or in this case a stock. But more importantly, it can probably be defined as the volatility that traders are pricing into the option premium. So, how to calculate it? We have a spreadsheet here which I uploaded earlier on a video called How to Calculate the Option Greeks. But you can also download this spreadsheet uh, in the description too. So, uh, what the spreadsheet does, it's really just the Black Shoals formulas here. But what we're only really concerned with is the option premium and the volatility. So, we have a underlying security here of Microsoft. I've taken an option on Microsoft, which is the October 25 call, and I've inputted the various parameters here, and we have a risk rate of 1%, which is you know open to interpretation, and a theoretical volatility of 20%. So you can see here that that gives us an option premium for 1.2309. Now, the problem with this is that 1.2309 is very different to the last trade, which is 1.63. So what we really want to do, we want to find out what volatility figure will give us the last trade. Uh, on top of that, you can also take the last trade as the middle market quote or the bid or the ask, depending on uh, how you want to value your option. So, in this situation, we can use solver and we can set target cell to be 6 equal to a value of 1.63, which is the current price by changing cells E3, or the volatility cell, as it's labeled. So we can click Solve, and that gives us 1.63, and we have a volatility of 30.82. So there we have it, that is our implied volatility of 30.82. And from here, that can give us a great indication on what traders are expecting in the future. But on top of that, it can also be used to analyze volatility smiles, volatility skews, which basically involves looking at the differences in implied volatility between at the money, out the money, and uh, in the money options. And from there you can go on to look at uh, potential trading strategies using that information. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you found it useful and good luck in uh, tr your trading and your calculation of implied vol. Thank you.